Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy. Four nerds, by nerds, hanging out with this nerd. Nerdarchy's Ted. And we asked the question, is mirror image messing with your game? Jump down in the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy the newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with us. So we had a uh, viewer suggestion, uh, not quite a GM 911, but... You you know, uh, K Man wanted clarification on on a spell, and I'll put the I will put that in the description below so you guys can see what exactly he was talking about, as well as if you have your own viewer suggestions or GM that ones you can send them to the nerdarchy at gmail dot com. So the spell in question is mirror image, and you can find it in your PHB on page two sixty. So mirror image is one of those those awesome spells that's gone through some some changes over the editions, uh, and he wants to know how it interacts with certain spells. Yeah. So one, I think he's trying to make it make the spell system and rule set for fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons much more granular than it actually is, and it really doesn't work that mirror image in its most simplest simplistic form is there become there's four of you now. And three, the three of them are jumping all around in and out of you. They move, they constantly move. So and it makes it very difficult to distinguish which is the, re, the real Slim Shady, as you will. <laughs> so, and let, here, first things first. Unless someone is making an attack roll, it's not relevant. The mirror image might as well, they might as well not even exist. Uh, it's only when you grab the d20 to actually attack the wizard with mirror image on that anything even comes into play. So, so with that that being said, the the wizard that's being attacked then rolls a d20 to see if one of his images can be targeted instead of him. If it is, it has a potentially different armor class than him. It gets hit. It's done for. Now, one of the questions was, hey, if I use a spell, a cantrip, in this particular case, Green Flame Blade, very specific cantrip, which is I make an attack and then it has a secondary attack on a effect on another creature. Here's the key. <laughs> Each of those images are not another creature. They it's, are the same. Right. So there's no way for it to jump. It could jump to another party member that's within five feet or another, to another and enemy, yeah. as the case may be. But... You and the mirror images, for all, for all intents and purposes, are the same creature. Exactly. You, you're, you are your own best friend. <laughs> Whee! Uh, area effect spells do not matter. In previous edition, it used to be, hey, if any of them take a damage, they're just gone. It even states that under um, mirror, image. mirror image, that it just basically ignores those effects. So you take the damage from the fireball. Doesn't doesn't make, doesn't make you immune, but your images stay. So I, I kind of like that that version so someone's not like oh i'll just wave them all out with a burning hands or a fireball now now like one of the other questions that was asked was well what about booming blade if you hit someone with booming blade then if they move they take more damage well here's the thing here's how i would rule as the gm the mirror images are moving all around you and they also have booming blade on them they would reflect whatever you they're reflections of you so if something about you has changed then, you know, that would also kind of change. So I, I would rule it that, all right, you cast Booming Blade on on the person with Mirror Image. If they stay if they stay put, their images are moving, but that's the spell effect that you cast, not your feet physically moving. So I wouldn't cause you to take damage unless you decided you were actually going to move. No, the it's just the illusion of... Right. And, and that's the other thing, too. It's kind of meta-gamey as well to go, well... That's not possible. So, you know, I know which one's actually the right one. Yeah, you can't you can't use that to to figure out which one's which. It's it's a magical illusionary effect that anything that changes to you changes to them. Yeah, and you know, it's also worth pointing out too. Um, Mirror Image is one of the few spells in second or not second edition in fifth edition that is it has a duration of a minute and there is no concentration so that makes it a really cool spell so it's going to last the full combat you know your your images are jumping around and as long as you have them you have it you have the opportunity to deflect the the attacks away from you to one of them i mean ted really hates it when my my wizard casts a spell because he's very heavily armored and hard to hit to begin with and then he's got to worry about whether it's an illusion whether he's attacking an illusion or not uh, if you're if you're casting mirror image, that means you're not you're not 
attacking or casting spells at my my creatures. So I already know it's impossible to hit you. So anything is possible. Anything is possible. I'll just get the D twenty that's just got straight twenties on it, and that'll be fine. Although that being said, though, like even in that instance, the uh, if Uthengar casts uh, mirror image, his, his images are actually really easy to hit <laughs> in comparison. So, so chances are, if he deflects it to one of his other ones, they're probably going to get hit. Where maybe that'll give the GM some satisfaction. Like, ah, I took out your image. He can feel good. I can feel good. The rest of the party can feel good. We all get to feel good because of this second level spell. It's good, good stuff. And it's also it's also an excellent spell if you're playing a Gish. So, and if you don't know what a Gish is, that's just a wizard warrior type. So now another thing that K Man brings up is is magic missile. This is another one of those things. That it strikes unerringly, so it ignores the images and goes right to the the individual person. Well, that's the other thing. Like if you if if it's not if if it's that doesn't use sight for vision, uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't see illusions or isn't bothered by illusions, and that's what I would just say. Well, the magic missile doesn't see illusions. That's right. why. It just ignores them and hits the individual. Well, because it's an auto hit. So as you brought up in the beginning of the video, it doesn't make an attack roll. So therefore, the spell mirror image doesn't come into play. And not only that, too. Like I suspect, if I were to go back and read uh, Magic Missile, what I find out is you you know you get the target, um, you get the target one creature, right? And illu illusions aren't creatures. You don't. Pr you probably don't even have. You know, the ability to target objects per se with it. I mean, if just going by raw, the way the way that this the, this spell is written, uh, you create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. So technically, like if you go by raw, you can't even you couldn't even target objects or things that aren't creatures, right? Like very fifth edition is very specific in its wording for things. And if you look back to Sage Advices, a lot of times Jeremy Crawford really points out the nuance of how it's exactly how it's worded. So, you know, the the a lot of fifth edition is open for interpretations, except for where there's uh, where it's specifically stated. In that case it's exactly what it says. <laughs> it's the way it wants to be. Yeah, pretty much. So so I hope that clarifies for K K Man how uh, Mirror Image works in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. And also, you can apply some of that stuff to other spells as well. You just need to look at the wording and go, well, you know, what is the exact wording? And then you can kind of hash it out from there. And then, you know what? It's your game. Do whatever's fun for you when you're playing Dungeons & Dragons with your group. So with that, you guys can add anything you, any thoughts you, you have or experiences you've had with the Mirror Image spell in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out over on nerdarchy.com. So until next time, stay nerdy. Stay nerdy.